Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, setting up Chrome driver on a Mac system. So um, like I said, we would uh, probably need to check uh, the version of Chrome that one is using first before one can get to <coughs> install Chrome. So um, let me just quickly check that here by clicking this and about Chrome. It shows it is 103 so I can uh, close this and uh, that means that I will download uh, the Chrome 103 version so I can come to my browser and do a Chrome driver download download and um, here we go to the Chrome driver version and I'll pick that of 103 because my Mac is not an M1 system, so I'll pick this and I'll download this. Because I have it before, but don't worry about it. Let's just um, download. Then I open this in my finder. So what I will do is this. Let me delete this. Let me move this to bin. So what I will do is get it out. And this is the Chrome driver I need. So I'll copy this. This is how I set it to parts. There are several ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way. So I copy this. Then I go, this is my finder here. So I go here on finder. I click finder. I mean, I click go. Then I go to go to folder. So in go to folder, I go to my user local bin. I get to this folder and in this folder, I can paste I can paste the Chrome driver there. Of course, it is there before, but I'll just replace it. So I'll click put a replace, and there I have it. It is in my um, it is in my path. So if I do Chrome driver iPhone iPhone version version. Oh, so <clears throat> on Chrome. On the Mac, since I just got it out, I need to put it in my, um, I need to give it access on my system. So I have to go to my system preferences. Once I just get a new one, go to security and privacy. Then I unlock this. I can use password or I can use the, the fingerprint, the biometrics. So I can click allow. As you can see, Chrome driver was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer. So allow anyway. So I click that, then I have this done back. So if I run the same command again, Chrome driver iPhone iPhone version, yeah, open it. It brings out the version for me. So there you go. You have um, installed Chrome driver on your on your um, on your Mac and you set it to path. Now, in the next video, before we go to the basics of Java, in the next video, I will explain why we've done everything we've done so far so you have an understanding of why these steps are actually necessary when it comes to automating using selenium i will explain the reason we did all of that now the java peculiarity is just the way java is ex executed on your system it is the way java is executed on your system once you've installed java you have to set it to part so that the java jdk the java development kit will be accessible to your IDEs. That is why that is done. Now, setting the Chrome driver to part. Maybe I just do everything in this video because it's actually a short explanation. Setting the Chrome driver to part basically is because you want to be able to access that Chrome driver without having to, without having to uh, place the Chrome driver in your project you will have access to the chrome driver from anywhere on your system and there is a way you will call it on the script and that is a good practice because when you are pushing to your pipeline you do not need the chrome driver that you are going to that you put in your project initially there is a way the pipeline would get a chrome driver and would download and set it in the pipeline such that a chrome driver can be used so there is no point putting it in your project. So the best way is to set it to path 
and be able to access it. So in order for us to be able to access it, when we get to the selenium part of things, we will see how those how the uh, the, the project will be referenced, how the um, the Chrome driver will be referenced, and you will see the benefit of what we've done concerning the Java um, JDK itself, how we can easily use it in our IDE. So instead of explaining, which I've already done, in the next video, we will talk about installing the uh, IDE and running some basic things on the Java environment. Okay, thank you for getting this far. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and also share. Bye-bye.